What is up guys, NQ here with another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on the bool tool. For those of you who don't know what the bool tool is, I will show you in a second. Right now I'm just showing you a couple of logos I did with the bool tool. And let's get started. So, I'm sure some of you who play around with Cinema 4D have gone into this menu here and been like, what, what the hell is all of this stuff? So this is the bull tool right here. Now what the bull tool does is you put a shape on top of another shape or letter and it cuts into it. The shape itself disappears and it cuts into the object that you want it to cut into. Like for this object here, I put a thicker V on top of the X and it cut into the X and then I put this black V in place. For here I just made this little ring thicker and it cut into all the other rings. For here the same thing with the V. For here I just used a rectangle here then I put the lens flare in there in Photoshop. So yeah let me show you how this works. This is going to be a very very quick tutorial. I just want to show you guys really quickly how it works. It's not a uh, it's not a hard tool to grasp grasp the gist of. So yeah. I'm just gonna use a square and a, a sphere. I'm just gonna make this bigger. And I'm gonna use a sphere. Alright, this is what I wanna do is I wanna cut this sphere inside of this cube. So it's gonna be like a crater inside of the cube. So what I want to first do is figure out how much of the sphere I want inside. And that looks kind of wrong, but you know. So it doesn't matter. You can fix it after you put the bull tool in it, but I'm going to leave it right there. So what you want to do first is make the object that you want to cut into it. So that I want to cut the sphere into it and make the sphere disappear. I'm going to put that first into the bull tool. What that's called is making it a child of the bull tool. So I'm going to click on the sphere and drag it where you see there's a a drop, like a down arrow. I'm just making it a child of the bull tool. And then what I want to do is make it and then bring the cube into the bull tool. As you can see, like magic, the sphere is gone and there's a hole inside of the square. As you can see. Now, let's say you want you want to put some text cut inside of an object like I have here. It's the same thing. Um, you just mo graph, mo text. Gonna bring this up, rotate this ninety degrees. Rotate this again so it fits on the square. Sorry, I'm going a little fast. I just trying to get this tutorial quick. <sighs> and I'm just going to leave it at text just so I don't waste you guys' time. But I'm going to delete this sphere. All right. So the same principles apply bring the text into it and then bring the cube into it and now you have it says text engraved inside of your little cube now one thing you have to remember before I cut this tutorial is let's say you want to get like cut the whole way through for example I'm gonna go back to this thing and cut the whole way through through the whole Thing, like from top to bottom you have to make sure and I'll, I'll just show you guys really quick I'm gonna delete this text and I'm gonna duplicate the cube I'm gonna make this skinnier and I'm trying I'm gonna cut this cube in half right so I'm gonna make this cube a child and then this cube a child 
as you can see nothing changed now you're wondering why now that is because in order to cut it all the way through it has to be longer so what you have to do is make this taller you can make it as tall as you want to be honest you can make it that tall it doesn't matter but just make it taller so that it's taller than the object itself and then make it a child and make it a child now as you can see it's not it, it isn't cut from the sides it's only cut from the top and that's because you didn't make it, I didn't make it um, wider so just like go like that as you can see it's changed if you can't see all right I'll zoom in you can change it without taking it out or deleting it as you can see but yeah if you want to call the way through you just make sure it's wider longer whatever and the possibility the possibilities are endless with this tool it depends on your creativity um, if you guys want to see more in-depth tutorials or how I made more like logos like this how I made a TV with the bull tool it was actually extremely simple just, I just made the box and put a box inside of the box and as you can see you, you can picture it I'm sure and then I just got the textures and whatever but it's a fairly simple tool and it's very useful like I said the possibilities are endless um, yeah so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, enjoyed this tutorial, and it helped you guys out in any way, please drop a like button. I'm so sorry for the sniffing. I'm a little sick. But yeah, please drop a like button, comment, subscribe if you guys want to see any tutorials, or if this has helped you create a picture within itself, like you watched this tutorial and then you went and made a logo. I would love to see it if you guys need help with anything. I would love to help. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, drop a like and cue out.